Did you know? The Johto region was heavily inspired by the Kansai region of Japan, with Ekrutik City, the region's cultural center, being based on Kyoto. Kyoto is famous for its traditional Japanese architecture and sites of historical and religious significance. Among these sites are the two Buddhist temples that lie to the northeast and northwest of the city. To the east lies Gin Kakuchi, or the Temple of the Silver Pavilion, known for the statue of a silver bird that sits atop its roof. To the west lies Kin Kakuchi, or the Temple of the Golden Pavilion, which has a statue of a bronze phoenix on top. Kin Kakuchi was actually burned down by a novice monk in 1950, but was soon repaired in 1955. If you've played Pokemon Gold, Silver, or Crystal, this should sound familiar to you. The two towers of Ekrutik City were based on these two real-life Buddhist temples, and they're famous for the legendary birds that were said to roost on top of them. ho -Oh perched atop the bell tower to the east, and Lugia perched atop the brass tower to the west. However, Lugia fled to the Whirl Islands when the brass tower burned down under mysterious circumstances, which is a clear reference to Kin Kakuchi. Something worth noting is the fact that ho -Oh and Lugia seem to have swapped places from their real-life counterparts. ho -Oh is associated with the bell tower to the east, while the bronze phoenix sits atop the western temple. Lukia was associated with the brass tower to the west, while the silver bird is located to the east. In a previous episode, we mentioned that the legendary Pokémon Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza were based on the behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz of Jewish mythology. These were said to be gargantuan monsters that dominated the land, sea, and sky respectively. There are differing accounts of the creatures' eventual fates. Some stories say that God will slay the creatures and serve them at the Messianic Banquet, a banquet shared between God and the righteous. Other accounts state that the Behemoth and Leviathan will slay one another before they are served at the banquet. This latter account seems to be the inspiration for the battle that takes place between Groudon and Kyogre in Pokémon Emerald. Additionally, Ziz is said to be the messenger of God. This is perhaps reflected in the game's depiction of Rayquaza as being the only thing that can quell Groudon and Kyogre's wrath. If that weren't enough, Generation 3 also included Regirock, Regice, and Registeel, Pokémon that are based on the Jewish myth of the Golem. The Golem was a crude image of a man constructed from clay and brought to life. In the Middle Ages, it was commonly believed that the Golem could be brought to life and controlled by using any one of God's names. God's name was to be written on a piece of paper and either inserted into the mouth of the Golem or placed on the Golem's forehead. This legend evidently had an impact on the design of the Pokémon as well, as each of the legendary Golems has writing on their heads that bears a resemblance to Braille. The Pokémon Arceus is said to be the creator of the Pokémon world, having created Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina, three Pokémon that control time, space, and antimatter respectively. Arceus also created the late guardians of Sinnoh, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf that brought knowledge, emotion, and willpower into the world. Appropriately, Arceus appears to be based on various creation myths from world mythology. Most prominently, it appears to be loosely based on the creation myth from Shinto mythology, which states that before heaven and earth were divided, they were a chaotic formlessness described as a cosmic egg. Eventually, the pure part of this egg was drawn out to become heaven, and the impure part became earth. Afterwards, divine beings were created, starting with the being Kunitoko Tachi no Mikoto. This being created two more deities known as Izanagi no Mikoto and Izanami no Mikoto. These two beings, using the Spear of Heaven, created the mythical island known as Onogorojima and erected a great pillar in the middle of this island. The Shinto creation myth and Sinnoh's creation myth share many similarities. Arceus's Pokedex entry in Pokemon on Platinum reads, It is said to have emerged from an egg in a place where there was nothing, then shaped the world. Arceus' creation of Dialga and Palkia to rule over time and space is similar to the creation of Izanaki and Izanami. Finally, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, and through hacking, even Arceus itself, are all encountered at the top of Mount Coronet in an area called the Spear Pillar. The Spear Pillar sits at the center of Sinnoh and was said to be the point of Sinnoh's creation. Onogorojima was created by a spear and a great pillar was erected at its center, hence Spear Pillar. Arceus also takes some inspiration from Buddhist mythology. Its Pokémon Diamond Pokédex entry states, It is described in mythology as the Pokémon that shaped the universe with its 1,000 arms. The image of a deity with 1,000 arms is evocative of Avalokiteshvara, the personification of perfect compassion in Buddhism. Avalokiteshvara aspires to help all sentient beings be free of samsara, the endless cycle of reincarnation. Another possible connection between Arceus and Buddhism is the wheel on its back, which is reminiscent of the Dharma Chakra, the wheel of the Dharma, which represents the path to Nirvana. Two of the starter Pokémon from Generation 4 are also based on world mythology. Torterra is based on the myth of the World Turtle that can be found in many mythologies around the world. 
For example, Chinese mythology states that the creator goddess Nu Gua used the legs of a giant tortoise to prop up the sky. Certain Native American mythologies tell of a giant turtle that supports the entire earth upon its back. Torterra's Heart Gold and Soul Silver Pokedex entry reads, Ancient people imagined that beneath the ground, a gigantic Torterra dwelled, explicitly referencing its real-world inspiration. Infernape may be based on Hanuman, a Hindu god that appeared in the Hindu epic poem Ramayana. Hanuman was a monkey that was granted immunity to burning by the deity of fire, Agni. He famously caused massive destruction to the mythical city of Lanka when he was held captive and his tail lit on fire. As the fire could not harm him, he escaped, and he used his tail to burn down large parts of the city. While the legendary Pokemon Keltia was based on D'Artagnan from the Three Musketeers, it may have also been inspired by Scottish mythology. The Kelpie was a water spirit that often took the form of a beautiful horse in order to lure people into a watery grave. Its methods of doing so differ between accounts, but would generally lure men into riding on its back before galloping across the waves. Keldeo is also able to run across water. Its Pokedex entry in Pokemon White states that it crosses the world running over the surfaces of oceans and rivers. Don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Gaming for more facts and trivia. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you're a fan of Pokemon, click the annotation on screen to watch the Did You Know Gaming video on Pokemon and real life. And if you want to watch another video that has absolutely nothing to do with Pokemon, then you can check out mine on Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, where I make a bunch of houses for animals that can talk, and it's the best game of 2015. Fun fact, it's great. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to me and have a great day.